Today, we unbox the Reedy Blackbox 510R speed control and do a little comparison between this one and the previous gen, the 410R. Alright guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we have a pretty cool little item here. Now this is the much anticipated 510R Reedy Black Box ESC. Now this thing was kind of like in limbo for a little while. They announced it I think back in August of 2016 and now fast forward to almost Christmas of 2016 and we have it released now. So the Black Box is definitely the kind of uh, ultimate ESC from Reedy that can pretty much handle anything in the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive one-tenth scale race platforms. So in this video, we will be opening up this box, seeing what comes inside of this Reedy Black Box 510R. And I happen to have my 410R available for us to check out not only the box specs of it, but also the unit on hand just to compare size, features, and everything else that goes between the 510 and the 410R. So taking a quick little tour around the box, small little box here, so 510R, this is a fully censored brushless competition electric speed control. This pretty much powers any of your stock mod. This will do pretty much everything on the 110th two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive platform. Quick look at the model number, but I'll have that down in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Right here, a lot of the features that are featured on this particular black box. And then right here, let's go over some of these items. This is a 2S LiPo speed control. No, it is not waterproof. This is a race speed control. Uh, continuous current 150 amps, dimensions 38.5 by 36.9 and 19.5 millimeters in height, weight 44 grams with no wires and no fan, and 3.5 turn is the motor limit and BEC is rated at 6.0 to 7.4 volt. Fan is optional, does not come inside this box. Now I did opt for the one that comes with the new programmer, the Programmer 2 box. I have my old Programmer 2 so we can compare those two as well. So opening the box immediately, we are going to see a nice little package inside of here. We do have the 510R owner's manual, which is always nice to have. I like to throw this in my pit bag just so I could uh, look at any parameters and, and things that if I need to program it to a different vehicle or whatever the case is, nice to have that on hand at the track. Now inside here, we're immediately seeing very similar to the 410, the programming box up here. Uh, there's an option to get it without the programming box. And then we have a kind of series of noodles in there that has the ESC buried underneath there. So let's take a look at the programming box. Ah, there we go. A little bit different from the previous gen. And we'll definitely take a look at the two of these merged as one later in this video. And inside here, I believe we have the actual ESC. Now, overall, this does appear to be smaller than the 410, but if you really check the exact uh, diameters, uh, this one is slightly larger, not by much. I mean, we're talking very small amounts, but this one does weigh less than the previous gen, the 410. So quick look around this nice little item here. We have nice little etching here. This is a full aluminum case, just like the 410. So pretty much aluminum all the way around, bottom, sides, tops, everything is. Heat sinks, you name it, this thing is aluminum. Nice little uh, set button right there that is the uh, power on off switch appears to be like a like a clear Lexan plastic almost like it would light up so I'm gonna have to check that out previous one was like a rubber boot looking one so we do have a uh, port right there for the some sort of wire probably for the fan is on the far side this is probably for programming side here nice little 510 uh, written out there, also there on that side. And right here we have the sensor port underneath the wire bank, and we have all of the wires. Nice that they're putting all black wires, and it looks like we have a separate capacitor bank, which definitely looks different than the 410. 410, if you remember, had that nice little kind of shroud that goes around it. 
Now this one right here, this does have about six inch wire leads for the motor, all color coordinated, which is nice. And about eight inch leads here for the battery terminals. This is 13 gauge wire. It looks like all the way around red being your positive for your battery terminals. Included also inside of the box is a receiver lead about 12 inches in length and this is to go from your programming box over to your black box 510R for programming needs. Now to compare the 510 to the 410, have both boxes here in front of us and let's quickly take a look at the specs so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. So right here, we're looking at the voltage input. Now the 410R was a 1S or 2S capable speed control. 510 is now 2S only. As far as the continuous current, both were 150 amps. Size or dimensions of these units, Let's see here, let's try and go item for item. So uh, the first measurement, 38.5 on the 510, 40.8 on the 410. Next measurement, 36.9 on the 510, 33 on the 410, and finally 19.5 in height on the 510 and 19 on the 410. As far as weight, like I said earlier, 44 grams on the 510, so about five ounces lighter than the 49 on the 410. And as far as the motor limit, both are the same, 3.5 turns. BEC current was increased on the 510 from 6.0 to 7.4, and the previous gen was 5.5 to 7.0. Both did not include a fan, but these two models did include the programming box, which was nice on this particular unit. As far as the programming box, they appear to be very similar in size and as far as the functionality. Right here we have the 510 version or the Programmer 2. This is the old version of it. So right here it looks like we do have uh, the ESC function down, up, and OK, which is the same on the black box version, the 410. But right here we're seeing the main difference here. We do have a USB mini input and we have a sensor board where this one, the new one has the receiver lead. So a little bit different uh, as far as connectivity. As far as the actual units, I have the 410 here, still have a motor connected, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to maneuver the two units, but right there you're seeing the uh, top on top. You can definitely see that the 510 is a little bit higher than the 410. Both appear to be almost exactly the same size. I mean, they're, they're so close in the actual dimensions, uh, it, it's it's just too close to call. They're very similar in size. Now, the main thing that has changed is the way that the battery or the wire terminals are mounting out from it. So right here, you're seeing the 410 that I have flipped out on the other side. Uh, it's coming out of the back of the unit where the 510 comes out of the side here, the one on the right-hand side. As far as the capacitor banks, we do have a kind of shrunk wrap version on the 510 where the 410 had that nice kind of aluminum shroud that goes around it. Now I'm sure that added a little bit of weight, but it was a nice kind of uh, premium feature on the 410. Front look of that right there, very nice. And you can kind of see the, the rubber button on the 410 on the top and kind of that Lexan button on the bottom on the 510. Now remember the 410 connected via the sensor board or the sensor wire, which would always be plugged in. The new 510 connects via that other port on the front of the unit right there. Well guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video of the unbox of the 510R and the compare between the 510 and the 410. I know that a lot of guys have been asking questions. What is the differences? Hopefully this video has showed you the differences between the two. Now, as far as the guys from Team Associated, they're saying the 510R is the speed control to have. This one is definitely gonna be good for those mod four-wheel drive buggies, and that's where mine is intended for. This one is going straight in to my new B64D, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out in January. Well guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post it on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.